In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a project in Dovesado. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey of Design by Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach creative entrepreneurs how to start and run successful businesses. A big part of that is having a good client management system, which is why I teach on so many of them. And Dovesado is the one I use in my everyday business. So let me show you how I'm going to go ahead and get started with a project. On your dashboard, you can either go into projects and do it there, or you can do create project right here. So before we create this project, what exactly is a project? So projects is basically how everything is ordered within Dubsado. All of the information that you're going to have um, about all of your clients and all of the different projects you're working on is here. So instead of organizing by client, like some client management systems, we organize by product project and you can have multiple projects per client. And within the project is where you're going to keep your invoices, emails, forms, any appointments and workflows, and all of this other information that you have about this client. So how do we create projects? You can either go back to this projects dashboard and click new, or even from your main dashboard, you can go create project. So I typically do my project titles by the clients because I'm working with wedding clients that are engaged. So I'll do the couple's names. So it's Blythe and Trevor in this case. Um, and I'll say day of, which means these are their day of goods. It's not uh, invitations or save the dates, but the actual wedding day stationery, like menus and things like that. And then I always add the project date to be the wedding. This could be the due date. This could be um, after the due date, it could be their day that they contact you. It could be whatever you need it to be. And then later, if you watch my video on workflows, you can use the project date for other things like asking for reviews or sending out information to them, etc. So whatever date is going to be the most useful for you as far as remembering when their project is due and also um, creating kind of milestones. Like if you need to send something out four months before the wedding date, then I like to have that as a project date because it's really helpful. So this one's May 7th. Um, you can do uh, these options for your calendar. I usually don't use the calendar, so I just leave them as is. I use a different calendar. Um, and then you'll need to either create a new client or use an existing client. So I'll create a new client and their first name is Blythe. Um, for me, last name doesn't really matter too much, but I could put that in there if I wanted to. And then I'm, a I'm actually going to use their wedding planners email because that's who I'm going to be in contact with. I could just use like Rachel is a contact, a client in my system already, but I don't want her to be getting emails on a bunch of different clients and not know where they're from. So I like doing it like this because then whenever I send an email that has their first name, it actually just puts in the plan the bride's first name or the groom's first name or whoever's in there. And so then Rachel knows which project this is about. So she understands my system on the back end. Um, if you want to just use the planner's name, that's okay. You can have as many projects as you want with the same planner or um, the same client. It doesn't really matter. But this is all the information I need. You can put as much information in here as you need, though. Your job status, um, there's leads and then there's jobs. And then you get to decide the statuses within this. So like with leads, I have active, followed up once, followed up twice, dead, um, older. With jobs, I have current, past, COVID-19, because I had a section of people who were postponed for COVID-19. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can change these to be like design, production, whatever different phases that you want them to be. For me, this works. Um, and I know that this client is probably going to book me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it as a current job, just because I work with this planner a ton and... I understand what's going on. And then tags, you can add different things. Um, I like to keep track of if it came from Etsy or if it's semi-custom or where the sale came from. If it didn't come from one of those unique places, then I'll put it here. Maybe I would put a tag for like the wedding planner's name or something so that then I could go back and keep track of which jobs came from there. So now your project is created and you can go into invoicing them, uh, putting, sending them forms, setting up appointments, etc. cetera. Um, projects can also be created automatically if someone fills out your lead capture form and I have another video on that as well as a ton of other ones on my channel. If you are checking out Dubsado or if you're still in your free trial period um, and you're thinking about signing up, make sure you use my code Design by Lainey, which will get you 30% off because I am a certified Dubsado specialist. Um, that link is going to be in the description of this video as well. And while you're here, I hope you'll watch so many of our other Dubsado videos as well as comparisons to other systems in case you're still deciding which one is right for you. Thanks everybody.